it is. It's fucking tough. <laughs> the boss says like, all right, then I'll give you a finger. Like, will that be enough? And like, he literally just Oops. chop off his mm. pinky. And then he says like, um, we'll be on our way. All right, welcome back to some more San Andreas. Do you think, okay, do you think Yakuza would be cool if it was open world though? I mean. Or it's not that type of game. It is open world. Is it though? It is. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> Two stars. <laughs> Two fucking stars, bro. I don't want two stars, bro. This is gonna make it harder for me, dog. Um, it is open world. Is it? I thought, I thought it was a. Uh... Well, what do you mean by open world? I mean like like an open world GTA game, you know? Like like this. Yeah, like this. It is. You can steal cars. No. So it's not like GTA. So no, it's not like GTA. Like the game that I'm referring, right? The RPG one, right? It's not an open world where you steal like uh, a train, like a car and stuff like that. It's literally just you run around the area, and then you fight enemies. Okay. And that's it. You need a high higher flying skill stat to access the. That's too bad, cause pilot school you have to you, you unlock it later on. Oh, okay. And I gotta get inside. How the fuck am I gonna get inside, dude? Where's the? Oh, never mind. That's right here. I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, careful, 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 careful. And um, it's not. It's not anything with like stealing cars or anything, right? Yeah. It's just mainly, uh, just RPG type stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a, it's fun, you know, and I like the story. Cause the story was pretty compelling. Okay, so right here. The story seems good. I know that. What's the main character's name? Like Ryu or something, something like that. I, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't remember actually. Yeah, I, I completely forgot. I just know he's a badass. He beats up people. He has like a adopted like kid as yeah. well. Well, no, no. This one is a different main character. Yeah, it's like in the past. Ah, uh, no. I think this. I think Yakuza oh, no. Like a Dragon is completely different from the Yakuza games. No, I know it's an RPG and stuff. No, 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 no. Like the story wise, where like it doesn't follow the the original like Yakuza leader. Yeah. Or the Yakuza character. Yeah. So it's like completely different, you know. Yeah. I just want. I want a GTA game in Japan, bro. That would be cool. I'm See, surprised it hasn't been done. I guess it's like... I yeah, I would have thought so, too. Like, you know? Maybe it's, it's just Japan. like the fear of like bad publicity. In Japan? Yeah. They did it in Hong Kong, though. Sleeping Dogs. That was in Japan? No, no, no. That was in Hong Kong. I'm just saying. They already did that for like a... For a Asian, like city basically yeah but that was china it's still asian though you know what i mean yeah no, no no yeah but like we don't i don't know what it's going on with like japan and stuff like that because like what i mean would japan have a problem with that like do you think they would have a problem with that well 90 percent of the games that come out are from japan let's be honest like skiba doodle like sony is owned by japan nintendo is owned by japan yeah that's true so like I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't understand why they won't make one. True. I guess it's just like, what would generally be the story, like, in what timeline are they going in? Because I bet, Damn. Jesus Christ, you almost destroyed the fucking car! Oh, I didn't expect it to explode, <laughs> I just wanted to shoot the guy! <laughs> I really did not expect that shit to explode like that. You saw the fucking flames coming out, like- No, that was the last second, dude. <laughs> But, um, I don't know, it's just one of those topics where it's like, I mean, generally don't know why. Like, Ghost of Tsushima though, a lot of Japanese people love that game. They think it's cool. Really, really cool. Yeah, it's, I don't know, I, I just, But I'm, that, that was a little bit more respectful of the culture though, I would Yeah, because that's culturally, like, respectful. It, it in the feudal era, wasn't it? Yes. You are it about is. to die. It is. It's fucking tough. 
Fuck you, bitch. You gotta go, man. You gotta go. Yeah, I know, you, I know, I know. Is I know, there any know, spa- know, pay, know, uh, spray and pray? I don't know, to be honest with you. I think it's in the other set. Se- it's, it's, it's down, basically. It's okay. not. It's not. Take it left. Take it left. Take it left. Go, 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 go. You have a chance. You have a chance. You have a chance. Go, 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 go. That was like some dominant Toretto type shit. I pulled right For real. Down. Fast and Furious type shit. Yeah. yeah. Take it left. Yes. Oh, there's a cop. The cops are after me as well. Oh, take it right. Take it right. Take it right. Gotta go, dog. You gotta go. I'm trying to like go slowly though, so that it doesn't explode. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, well, there's an enemy over. right there! Go, just go, just go! Just go, just go! It's right there, it's right there, it's right there! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! You got this, you got this, you got this! Nice! Finally! That's what I'm saying, bro. Domino Toretto out here. There you go. CJ Johnson. And now we just need 4,000 more dollars. Respect my name, bro. We'll make it. Yeah, but we don't. We're, we can't do it right now because that was our final mission. What? What? How many minutes? Wait, we're in like five minutes, so we can just like drive around you know and chill. What? honestly let's just double chill for right now exactly we gotta eat our pizza. we gotta eat we gotta talk and chill bro after a fucking session where we spent five five tries on bro and exactly. wasted the whole time basically on my part you know but yeah what were we talking about yeah i mean i feel i still feel like a a, a, a crime game in japan would be cool though that's just me though yeah, but like, what what would like generally if you were to come up with a story, what like why? I don't even know. To be honest with you, I don't know <laughs> shit about the yakuza like that. I I just assume they're like, you know, they're like, I don't know, like they're like a normal mafia except you know they're Japanese, so they have like Japanese customs and maybe they might have like katanas. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't think they're gonna have katanas. No, they could. You know what I mean? They could, They could, you know what I mean? But, um, most of, like, Yakuza, right, have power over police. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, um, when it comes to, like, territory, the more money, like, a Yakuza family has, the more, um, power they they will have. Yeah, that's true. So the more territory and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's like the same thing with the mafias as well, you know? Mm-hmm. But they're more, like, respectful of each other and stuff like that. Yeah, because, like, they, they tell... But there's still, like, betrayal and all that within yeah. them, you know? I don't know. I just I just find, like, Yakuza a lot more cooler. Than a normal, like, Italian mafia or even, like, yeah. the Russian mafia or something like that. Yeah. Or, like, a triad. Mm-hmm. I don't know any of the other mafias. Because, like... Uh, with the Yakuza is like yeah they, they're told that they're not allowed to go into that territory and stuff like that yeah and like there's like they're like like even the bosses of the Yakuza right yeah uh, know that they can't like if they like any of their subordinates cause any trouble they have to like they did yeah they really kill them off what if they're subordinates, if they're out of line. Yeah, if yeah. like if they're if the other mafia don't kill them, then the maf uh, then the boss of that family will kill them themselves. Damn, I mean that is dishonorable though if you go against the boss or anything like that. Exactly. And like, there's also like a thing where like you like cutting your finger. Oh, they do that like the middle finger or. No, like it depends on like which finger, like either a pinky or or something like that, like. It, it, especially in Yakuza Like a Dragon, yeah. like there's a the main character causes trouble with like uh, the person, right? Yeah. Like the family that he he goes to like protect, like he basically goes for for the Yakuza family that he joins. Um, he uses the boss's name to scare off like some thugs that like were attacking him. Yeah. And like they call up the Yakuza boss. And say like, oh, do you know this kid? Like, he's using his, your name, and he says like, hold on, I'll be there like in a little bit. He goes down there and he says like, no, I don't, I don't know this man, but like, I'm sorry for causing trouble. And he said like, the guys are like, you know, like, no, we don't take that. Like, we, like, we don't, we don't take that disrespect. Like, what do you like? You have to pay up, right? Yeah. And the boss says like, all right, then I'll give you a finger. Like, will that be enough? And that he literally just. Chops. Chop off his mm. pinky 
And then he says, like, um, we'll be on our way and stuff like that. And Damn. it just leaves. That's crazy, bro. And then that's when the, the main character finds respect. Because, like, this man, like, literally gave up a finger to, like, protect this kid. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, it's just, it's just really cool. It was pretty cool. Alright, now that's way too much. I'm gonna save up my money for the business. Stuff. Exactly. Grove Street Man is kind of tough. He, Grove Street Man is kind of. His funds are not that that deep. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But we can talk more about this in the next episode. Wait. <laughs>